everybody, welcome back to some more Planet Coaster working on Seatopia once again. It's a beautiful day for some Planet Coaster, and if you are enjoying, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, leave something letting me know that you are enjoying Planet Coaster. Want to see more in the future? I picked out some names <laughs> for the rides that we kind of missed last time. Uh, so Test Flight is the name of the coaster over there that we just named, and this one is going to be Stingray Bay. I like it. Not realizing that Stingray was in fact one word, which I think I should know because I actually got the touch of Stingray about like a month, two months ago. Uh, I live like 10 minutes away from one of the world's most famous aquariums uh, in Chicago. It's called the Shed Aquarium. And so we, uh, we have memberships there now, so we've been going there. Uh, it's pretty awesome. It's really cool. It's the world's largest indoor aquarium. And they have this little outdoor area where you can touch uh, some Stingrays or the Manta Rays. I think... They were one of those. I don't know which, but <laughs> they were pretty cool. Uh, they were really kind of slimy this feeling. There was like this rock shark thing too. There's something else in there. He was cool. I forgot what he was called. It wasn't rock shark. I'm thinking that because he actually felt like a rock. Like when he swam by and he touched him, it just felt like a rock. It was really cool. The stingrays were kind of slimy and squishy. And they have silly little faces on the bottom, but... So yeah, I got the pet stingray. Or manta ray. I don't remember which one. Check it out, guys. We got a big old hole in the ground. How, how cool is that? So, to uh, do something that people have been requesting for a long time, we're doing a in or underground section of the park. Completely underground. It's gonna be cool. I, I, I love how this section comes out, guys. Like, oh, it does not look good throughout the building process, but the end result is mwah, bellissimo, magnifique, uh, sehr gut. <laughs> I don't think any of those are right. Well, I think two of them were right. And I'm trying to be quadlingual over here. Uh, first things first, building a big old hybrid coaster on the inside. Remarkably much better than my uh, previous hybrid coaster. I'm sure you all agree. I actually really like how this one comes out, so I will need a ride for this coaster as well. So if you got any ideas for our hybrid coaster down here, definitely leave it in the comments below. Or if you don't, you can just say, see up. I don't have any ideas for the coaster. I'm sorry. And I'll say, it's okay, buddy. Uh, it's okay. We, we're not all good at naming things. Just look at me. I just name everything Cormac. Every video game I play, I'm like, oh, here's a business. It's Cormac Corporation. Here's a spaceship. It's the SS Cormac. I just name everything Cormac. Like, I'm not creative either. <laughs> At least I name it things. So it's okay. Oh, I like this part though. Check it out. We do a real steep turn there. Completely banked at like 90 degrees. Oh, uh, we smooth it out a bit so it goes less than 90, but still pretty darn cool if you ask me. Oh, we have one inversion over there and then a couple big loops. I like the first big drop. It goes underground, so we're going to be doing some cool stuff with that. And remember, this whole thing will be enclosed by the, the the ground above it. So it'll be real dark in here. We're going to light it up. We're actually going to use something from the Steam Workshop uh, that I found on the subreddit, which is pretty cool. Over there, we have this long curve just kind of going back to the entrance. Uh, I think off camera I fixed this. Yeah, this. I actually turned those into a few little hills. Uh, so don't don't worry. It won't be boring like that in the end. I realized it was a little, a little bit boring, so we put a couple of hills back there just to mix it up a little bit. Just a little bit, make it look pretty nice and purdy. See, right now it's all big and flat back there. I want it flat at the end, just because that's where the coaster slows down. In fact, we got to put some trim brakes on there. Uh, it gets a little bit too slow, actually, so we have to remove some of the trim brakes. But that's how we learn. Mm. That's how we grow as people. Uh, trying to add some blocking sections back there, just so I can add some more coasters or another car. <clears throat> but then when I was away, I should probably just make this that. What's the word? Another coaster bay. Extending that there. Oh, good. Then we don't need the blocking section back there. Whee! <laughs> it looks quite a bit different at 500% speed. So just imagine this 500% slower. Yeah, so imagine there, there's going to be a couple of hills. I don't know why I was having so much trouble saying 500%. Hmm. I do not know. It is early. Oh, well. It's Tuesday, so we are going to stream tonight. If you guys aren't following on Twitch, definitely head on over. I'm probably going to stream Planet Coaster maybe Thursday. Uh, tonight I don't feel like streaming it just because uh, there's an episode going up today. Yeah, maybe we'll stream it Thursday. That sounds good. Uh, tonight I don't know what I'm going to stream. I, I'm thinking about streaming Overwatch. I know a lot of people don't enjoy that game, but I do. I am working on getting better at competitive Overwatch, so I do want to get ranked. Ooh, and there's a new winter event coming out today in Overwatch. That's right. It should be up in the next couple of hours. Might already be up by the time this video is going out, but... Uh, there's I'm there's gonna be winter skins and hopefully a new winter type game mode kind of like the one we had uh, for Halloween 
Was it Halloween? Yeah, we did have one for Halloween. It was like the Drunken Signs Revenge. That was pretty cool. So hopefully we'll have something like that soon. I, 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 I tell people to give that game a chance, like, because I have not been in the first person shooter scene for years. Like, the last one I actually played a lot was, I think, Halo Reach. Uh, but Overwatch is, is something different, dude. I love that game. Just all the different characters, uh, how, like, well balanced everything is, how fluid the game is, how well polished. I just love it. <clears throat> it's very nice. Very nice game. Over here, adding some rock uh, supports to our big spiral staircase coming on the inside. Uh, this was the best way I could think to get people down here in the shortest amount of path is because not like it's gonna be pretty far People are gonna have to walk pretty far to get down here no matter what uh, But I think it's all right looking it'll look a lot better once we actually close the roof because we only have a bottom section support of our rocks But the rest of it is gonna be encased in tunnel uh, So do remember that decided to put in a little bathroom over here and some torches uh, It looks so stupid right now, but once we get everything on all nice and dark it looks so much better guys You, you can't believe it it's gonna be awesome. Over here, decided to put up a little raised section, and we're gonna put some shops up here. Just some uh, underground shopping sections. There we go. Just trying to figure out how to make the path nice and flat, or the trade flat. Flat enough so I can actually put the path on it. There we go. Got that all figured out. We're actually getting better at that. Or they improved the system. One of those. Something like that. Then put some lights up here just so I can see what I'm doing. And so you guys can see as well. I mean, it's a little easier to build from, or from me to see while I'm building, because, uh, I don't know, it just is easier to see what you're doing, so I, it's, the lights are mostly for you guys. I don't need them, but they do help. So there you go. Added a, what is that? Tiki chicken? Oh, yeah, it's tiki chicken. Tiki, tiki, tiki chicken. There we go. And then we're going to add that. And then I had this idea of having these little holes in these rocks and then putting some like orange lights behind them. Just kind of make it look like, I don't know, something mysterious or maybe like some lava or something hidden back there, so. That's something we'll definitely uh, do quite a bit. Oh, uh, it's gonna be heavily orange lights in this section. Cause I mean, it, uh, we're using the torches and we're gonna do like orange lights like that, like it's supposed to be lava or something underground. I like how our only medical center is down here in the underground section. So imagine if you get hurt over in the beach section, you gotta walk all the way over here. Oh goodness, I feel like that's not very safe or not very efficient, but whatever. They'll, they'll get over it. See, I like how it's looking. Nice little points of light. Interest points and toss in the cosmic cow because people love the cosmic cow. Who doesn't love the cosmic cow? Cow. And my boy, I'm talking like this for the rest of the video because I can totally keep this up. I don't know why I started talking like this, I just felt like it. This is about the deepest as I can make my voice. Okay, so we put the cosmic cow over there and then add a little terrain painting to the rock texture. Started one another hole over here. Kind of a mimic that, just a hole down on the ground, so if people walk by, they can just see like a faint orange glow coming from underneath. And there we go, adding some rocks around the outside. Yeah, it's looking alright, decided I want to put one on the other side as well. I will do that if you put some signs down on here. I got the Cosmic Cow sign, trying to figure out exactly where I want to put it. I keep developing some sort of accent while I'm doing this, and I'm not, not trying to use an accent, just... Trying to keep my voice as low as possible. I'm gonna stop talking like this now because frankly, it's kind of painful. <laughs> I can't talk like that for too long. Why did I do that? I don't know. Maybe because after 100 episodes of Planet Coaster, I get bored of just talking. So I like to mix things up. What's the matter? You can't handle me, man. Am I being too real for you? <laughs> okay. I wanted to put a flat right over here. I had a little bit of difficulty uh, trying to figure out exactly how I wanted to place the paths around it. I like the idea of going over it, but... Everything just looked kind of gross and nasty. So at some point we do figure it out. I flatten the ground a little bit. I'm like, oh, maybe we can have the path go this way. Wouldn't that look nice? Nice and lovely. There we go. Some point around here I'll do it. There was, wait, the path actually can't go underneath that. That's a bit of a bummer. We'll make the uh, entrance queue go over there. So right between those rocks. That'll look nice. Got to change that. Got to figure out exactly where I want this path to go. Nope, go up. You can't squeeze it under to see the top. It's not gonna fit, bro. Bro! Brother. There we go. Just have it go over there. That looks dumb, but whatever. Add it to supports, and then later remove those supports, because I decided to just uh, make it supported by rocks instead, kind of like the original entrance. So, hey, yeah, let's take those out. Get some rocks in that bad boy. And uh, I find it easier to just move them after I place them. That way I can just... Pull them all up, and then add some rocks up there. Just kind of encasing the 
the, 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 the bridge, I suppose. I guess it's kind of rock bridge at this point. Yeah. I uh, changed the colors of the ride too. I didn't even see when I did that, man. I must have blinked. Noise. Wanted to add some tunnels in there. A lot of tunnels in this section. And then down here, wanted to add another like big uh, orange glowing pit. This one actually looks really cool at night too. Well, the whole section of the park is going to be at night because I mean it's going to be underground. So as you can imagine, it's going to be at night time. The so night time is the night time. There we go. Kind of looks like the Balrog is down there. Balrog, Balrog. Something like that. You know, the big Lord of the Rings monster. Uh, yeah, that guy. I do not miss doing Lord of the Rings Park. This is actually reminding me, because when I did the Lord of the Rings Park, people wanted me to do a, um... A, well, originally, I was planning on doing a Mines of Moria section, so we ended up, would have ended up adding the Bal Balrog. Balrog. I don't know what it is. It's one of those... I uh, ended up not doing that just because we didn't have a big empty section of the park that we could clear out like this and then build on top of. For the most part, the rest of the park was actually built, so... If you're going to do something underground, you should do it before the rest of the park. Luckily, since we still got so much room in this park, I was able to do that. And I'm really happy I was, because it looks so cool! Oh, I love it! Especially uh, when we add the secret ingredient over to this coaster. This coaster is going to have its own theme in the underground area, so just hold on to your butts and wait for that. It's very exciting. Just hold on to your own butts. Don't hold on to my butt. It's, it's shy. Look at these crystals, man. Okay, so these are just uh, shapes from the random shape things. And I found this in the Steam Workshop, these little clumps of crystals. They're so cool. Oh, I love them. And then we add some cool colored lights underneath them. It just comes out very nice looking. Oh, accidentally <laughs> grabbed the spaceship. My bad. It's something I keep doing when I'm in this. Whenever I use uh, the blueprints, I accidentally click on the wrong ones all the time. I'm glad that they changed it and have the uh, blueprint op uh, blueprint menu stay open. That makes me very, very happy. Uh, just because previously, every time you place a blueprint, it would close. <clears throat> and that was really annoying. It was not very fun. Now, if only they uh, kept the blueprints on a grid. This one is actually a building. It has its own uh, building the building post underneath it. So that's, that's handy. I will give it that much. And then she added some lights underneath, like I said we were doing, all willy-nilly. Look at that, it's pretty cool. Nice and colorful there, adds uh, something a little different. Because all the other lights in this section aren't going to be that orange. Oh, uh, the stupid supports from those coasters are bugging me, so I have to go and remove those. Okay, who's doing that? You! No supports for you! Thank you. Now that looks kind of weird because it's just floating, but whatever. You can imagine maybe it's supported by uh, the other sections of the rock or something. Eh. Uh, roughing it up a little bit, just get some stalagmites, stalactites, something like that. One of those, <laughs> uh, presumably. Yeah, that's one of those. Uh, pushing that back a little bit, and I decided to add some more crystals along the coaster bay in here. It's a shame that they're all blue, but they're easy to change the colors. Unless they're not, sometimes it doesn't select all of them, it's kind of annoying, as you can see there. And you gotta like deselect the stick. There we go. And then gotta add the lights. Kinda hard to see what colors they are, but luckily I remembered. There you go. Isn't that pretty looking? I think it's pretty, pretty, pretty looking. Pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> oh, get it? Is that a pretty, pretty cool? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Huh? Huh? Ah, what do you know? What do you kids know? Uh, I just added some colored lights right there. Just cause, uh, felt like it. I thought it'd be cool, and then close it in a tunnel, kind of mimicking the uh, crystals. Kinda looks like a rainbow. That's, uh, that's really pretty. I feel like a rainbow. Does anyone else feel like a rainbow? What was that from? Is that from that 70s show? When the mom is like, uh, high or something? I think, uh, or no, she's like, uh, anti-depression medication or something? I'm not sure. I think that is it. That sounds about right. Doing some more terraforming out there, right there. Nothing too crazy. Uh, decided to not use the path all the way around because I don't really want to put anything else back there. I mean, I guess a transport ride would have been cool around here. Maybe we could do like a transport ride from the beginning of the park that comes down here. That might be cool. Yeah, because we got that open section over there, so that's something we could definitely add. And we could just have it somewhere by the entrance of the park and then have it just dive directly underground. Maybe we could even do a monorail. That would be cool. Choo-choo train would be cool too. We have yet to do a monorail. Might do a monorail, that might be fun. Or we can just make it a stop on the monorail uh, that we eventually add to the whole section, the whole park. 
Because I do want to do a monorail kind of going from uh, place to place around the park. So maybe we'll do that. That'd be pretty cool. Added a nice little carousel under here. Decided that I just wanted another flat ride in here. I think two flat rides, a couple shops, and a coaster is good enough for the whole section. But again, you can do a whole park based on this. It'd be fun. And I decided I did want some plant life in here. So we're going to do some palm trees all throughout. I thought they were pretty cool looking. Nice ferny. Because uh, kind of inspired by things like Journey to the Center of the Earth. Never saw the Brendan Fraser movie, but like, I know of it. <laughs> but like the original movie and the Jules Verne novels and things like that. Was it Jules Verne? I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, so it's kind of like underground, uh, ancient, dinosaur-y section. So that's the kind of idea I had going with there. Time to use these big globs of terrain and cover up the uh, top. Uh, we're probably going to flatten it. I don't quite flatten it here. Uh, obviously the entrance can't be flattened because you can't do that. But I uh, probably will flatten the rest of it. Just because I'd rather use this land rather than just have like this big mountain over here. Oh well, look at that man. It's looking alright. I think it's pretty nice looking. Uh, I decided to put some orange lights all throughout there. Oops, look at that. So that's something you can do. You can, uh, if you zoom all the way out and then pan down, you can actually go underground. It's pretty cool looking. I uh, decided to push up some of the, the roof up there. It's because it got, it did get pulled in pretty low. Orange lights throughout just kind of light up sections of the track as you're going through. So you're not in the complete pitch black everywhere you go. There is actually one more I want to add. You'll see when you do the point of view right on the coaster. And then trying to get rid of that fog. There we go. Yeah, it's the atmospherics in the background, so it was really bugging me. So I decided just to remove that, turn that up, turn it off in the options, and there we go. Uh, yeah. So I need a name for this area, and I need a name for the coaster. Definitely leave those in the comments if you have an idea. But I freaking love how this way came out. Uh, the way this area came out with the the palm trees and the torches, and then the colored uh, lights over by the crystals. Mmm, so cool. And then here's the entrance to the uh, the tilt -a whirl You can kind of see the coaster zip by right there with the colored lights. Oh, it's so cool. I like it. I also like the big pit kind of surrounding the tilt -a whirl And then the rock bridge. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This might be one of my favorite sections of the park, man. It's so very cool. The coaster is Great. I love how this coaster came out. I, th I hope you guys will agree. It's one of my better coasters. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to zip on over. Wee! I feel like slow panning over there. Balloons! Over to the uh, the coaster bay. The crystal coaster. The crystal kingdom. I don't know. So something like that. You guys will probably end up using the word crystal in it. Or geode. I don't know. Something like that. Would be cool. Th think of something cool. Don't, don't just use those. Unless I like that one better than any, suge <laughs> any of the other suggestions. Then I may end up using that. So I, I skipped the chain lift up there. Then we dive down to a big pit on the first jump. Then you can see the kind of the big pit over by the tilt -a whirl And then a nice little hill up here. Going back down in the first inversion. Actually, it's technically the only inversion on the whole coaster. And you kind of go back over the coaster bay. Whee! And then the bit real steep turn here. Whoa! You can see that coaster go by. It's so cool. Back over the coaster bay. And then one big hill up here. Kind of too dark up there. I do want to add another light so you can't see the hill as you're going over it. And then the other hill over here. And then through the rainbow tunnel. Whee! Even though it's not quite rainbow tunnel. It should be Roy G. Biv. Red, orange, yellow, green, indigo, violet, blue. Wait, oh, no, that was wrong. I said that wrong. Roy G. Biv. Well, it's too late to do it again. Leave a like if you enjoyed the planned coaster. I'll see you next time. Bye.